dogs, this is the test. Can the kitten get in? So this is a hotbed, an old hotbed, that I'm turning into the space for the quail. It has chicken wire along the inside. And I'm not sure that this kitten has ever had any experience with bird netting. The older cats have, but not this one. And this is their favorite place to lay down and take a nap because it has all that nice warm straw. So he's really trying to get in there. So if we find that this little guy can't make it in, then we are safe to go get some quail. We have their food and water dishes right here, all set up, and two places for them to hide. With that many quail, they will form friendships, alliances, whatever you want to call them. And if you don't have enough shelter for them, then the low man out will not be able to fend for themselves. Okay, so we caught the jumbo coturnix. We have two out here that are blends. And um, they're a little bit more jumpy and they're not from the original batch. So we're gonna take these guys and go put them in the backyard where it's not so hot. The quail enclosure is working really, really well. I think I already showed it to you guys. But all it is is bird netting that's weighted down by these furring strips. And then furring strips across the top to hold the netting up so the, the cats can't get in. Can you see them? There's quail eggs in there. And there's quail eggs in there. So we have enough sunlight, end of March. So that's where they lay. Hello. Have all these little sticks to run over. Food and water. This, I know that this looks really ugly that it projects out like this, but they really need the shade. Here's some eggs from a couple days worth of laying. We only have, I think we only- One egg is right there. Oh. Maybe I'll come around and get it. I'll just give you the ones I have for right now, honey. Okay. And tell Dad this is all of them for now. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm not finished. And we've got something eating the duck eggs. I don't know what. Thank you. Probably the skunks. I hope not.